Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have finally my handbag collection video for 2023. I only film this once a year. It tends to be a very long video with a lot of editing. So you're gonna see a lot of changes. I got rid of a few items, I added others. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna do it by brand. If I were you, I would go grab your coffee, a snack. If it's later, then a glass of wine and just let's sit down and chat. Every bag has its own unboxing and review. So I'm just gonna give like a quick chat about each and every single one of them and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I do get like an overload. Let me clean the background. I'm gonna start with Chanel because it's the one that I have like the most bags. I'm just going to grab them randomly. This is the first one. This is a classic flap in the small size in green. I kind of forgot the collection so I'm gonna put it on the screen but I believe it was Cruise 2021 I think. Something that you're gonna see a lot in my collection is that I like lambskin more than caviar which I know it's quite risky but but honestly, I feel like they're prettier and quite more durable than everyone thinks. So chances that the camera is showing the actual color of this bag are quite low, but I'm gonna add B-roll of every single bag. This is the first one that I'm gonna show you from the classic club. So this is the one that I'm gonna do like the interior and everything, but all of them are exactly the same. So the classic club has the Mona Lisa pocket on the back. It has the chain. It can be used as a shoulder bag or crossbody. I actually really enjoy using them like this. I think it's the most comfortable, but I can do crossbody with them. It it has a CC turn lock and when you open it, you have the inside like this. I sometimes store them with this dusters. Here you have the zipper that is supposedly to store love letters, but honestly nothing fits inside. And then it has a slip pocket in the back and when you open it up, you're gonna see that the inside has two pockets here and one here. So this bag, I got it brand new from Redelux a little bit over a year ago. I definitely wanted a green bag, but it was so hard to find like the perfect shade of green. I think I definitely found it with this one. I absolutely love the bag. I don't want to Get too much into it because if not i'm never going to finish i do have the boy bag and i have it in the small i used to have it in the old medium but it was a little bit too bulky for me because it's a very structured bag this one is in calfskin with aged gold hardware it's one of the bags that i use so much it's so easy to gravitate towards it and different from the classic flops it is a little bit more like edgy so i think like it serves a purpose different from the other ones for different outfits the crossbody length is perfect i don't think that is too short or too long it is adjustable with the classic flaps it's not adjustable for me this is a classic it's one of the bags that made me fall in love with chanel so bad i do like the lines a lot for me it's a classic it's probably never going to pass and i don't plan to ever let it go a lot of people tell me like the boy bag is done it's out i do believe that if something serves you and you like using it you can stick to it for as long as you want just want to let everyone know that i have an issue with classic flaps i like the style of the bag so much that i have it in multiple colors it is what it is. This is a bag that I had years and years on my wishes. So this is what we call the caramel. This is also in the small size. It's light gold hardware. It's the most buttery, soft and beautiful. I would say it's like a milk chocolate shade of brown. Chanel rarely releases shades like this. Right now they're doing it more often, but there was a really long time when they just didn't do it. And when this came out, it was so freaking hard to get. Like it was so complicated to find it. But I think right now it's a little bit more common. For me, black, white, brown, and gray are basically my wardrobe. It's what I use on a daily basis. I have two Chanel minis. One, I've had it for a while. This one is my pink mini in the square. I have the rectangle that I'm gonna show you right now. This is in lambskin. This was my first lambskin bag and I got it in a trip to Rome. You're gonna see that I like a lot of neutrals, but I also add colors a little bit, especially pastels. I don't go towards very bright shades, but this one is in lambskin with aged gold hardware. I think this specific shade of pink looks so beautiful with this aged gold. The mini also has the Mona Lisa pocket in the back. Now my other mini is like my most recent addition. Like if you go look for it, it's my latest unboxing. I still cannot freaking believe that I have this bag. This is my Chanel mini with the pearls. This is stunning. This is like the square versus the rectangle. The strap is a little bit longer and this one is a little bit shorter. So I feel like it fits a little bit better my frame, but this one, no one can beat this. Like. I have such a thing for pearls. This is the most beautiful bag that Chanel has ever, ever released. It doesn't have the Mona Lisa pocket on the back, but it's quite roomy. Fits my iPhone. I have the 12 Pro Max, like fits no problem. I mean, I don't have much to say about it. It's 
It's stunning. It has pearls on the bottom. It's so beautiful. I don't know if the pearls fall off. I guess I'll update you on that because it's brand new. I got it pre-loved, so it does have quite a few scratches on the hardware. This is the inside. This is my oldest classic flap and this is vintage. This is for my birth year. This bag is from 1996. The classic beige color from Chanel and actually this one is with gold plating. Chanel used to be gold plated, not anymore, which is kind of a shame. So this bag is 26 years old. It is also in lambskin and it has the deflated quilts. I actually really like the look that it has like this. It does make you put into perspective that when the bags that I have now, I plan to have them for the rest of my life, like the worst that they can look is like this. And for me, this looks absolutely beautiful. It's like a whole aesthetic and a vibe by itself. I know that sounds silly, but I know classic flop prices are quite over the top right now, but I do recommend you that if you really want one to get a vintage one, like the quality that they had 20 years ago is nothing compared to how they are now. This is my blue classic flap and I had this one since 2019. This is in caviar, medium size. I got this one in Paris. This was back in 2019. I got it from Rue Cambon. It was such an amazing experience for me because I've been wanting this shade of blue for the longest time and we call it like Tiffany blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Right now I'm like into green a little bit. This is absolutely amazing. This one is actually caviar. It's also with champagne gold hardware. In this one I've seen quite a bit of wear and tear which is honestly crazy because this one is caviar and the other ones are supposed to be more delicate but this has quite a few lines here on the bottom i don't really care it was more like the experience i have quite a lot of sentimental attachment to this one i feel like it's such a unique color and i don't think that they're ever gonna produce it again so this is the thing with chanel they sometimes do shades that they never repeat for the caramel one they have repeated it quite a few times now i can assume that it was because it was super popular but with this one not really this is the 19 bag and this is in tweed i call it the cookies and cream oreo 19 bag i it took me a while to fall in love with the 19 bag to be honest when i first saw it i thought that it was like too like slouchy and it's funny that at the end of the day is what made me fall in love with it the most because it's so versatile so comfortable and this one is like a plush toy it does have a massive pocket on the back which is so convenient and i love that this one on the inside has the most beautiful shade of beige I absolutely love this bag. I've come to the point where it's hard to sell some of my bags because I put a lot of time and effort to find specific shades, specific collections. This one, for example, I fell in love with it when I saw it being released with the preview of the collection. And I think it's the bag that I get the most compliments on. Chanel is my favorite brand out of all of them. It's been tricky lately, but the 19 bag, I highly recommend it to anyone that wants an easy bag. Even like if you're a mom, this one crossbody fits a lot and you, this is the smallest one, you can have the medium. And then there's the maxi that I'm kind of eyeing but I'm not gonna buy anything right now. This one is one of my most used bags. I thought that I was crazy when I got it because everyone kept telling me to never ever buy a white bag. You're gonna see throughout this video that I have quite a few white bags and I've learned to care for them. This is my white classic flap. It's in the small size, caviar leather, champagne gold hardware. This bag I was so like yes or no, should I get it, should I not? I was so sure that I was gonna cause color transfer on the bag but honestly it's been great. It's perfect. I don't see any type of issues with it. I absolutely love the bag. Again, one of my most used ones. It's so practical. I love what fits. I love how versatile it is. Since it's caviar, this one, like, I think I would be a little bit more scared to own a lambskin in white. Would I have gotten it in lambskin? Probably, yes. But I think, like, this was good. One thing that I do like about caviar is the rain factor. I don't feel scared to wear this once in the rain with the lambskin ones. Yes, I do. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the black one. This is, in theory, the one that I had for the longest time. I I initially bought it in caviar and then I switched it for lambskin because thing is when you see them right next to each other like I could definitely tell that I, I just like lambskin better but the day that I wanted to store for me it was like a combination of everyone telling me not to because it was very delicate it was my first Chanel bag and that you should go with caviar caviar for me uh, it's beautiful also depends on the collection that you get it from I just didn't like it as much but I ended up listening to everyone that was telling me like do not go for lambskin I started to get lambskin bags later on and I ended up deciding that it was just not for me and I did switch the bags so I sold my caviar one and I got this one but in theory I've owned this one since 2018 so back then the price point was not the same I'm actually quite glad that the classic clubs that I have I got them a while ago and not with the current prices this one is in gold hardware I think this one is a great example for you to see like I use this bag so much it's perfect like it does get creases when you open it here on the back 
but that's about it. So this one is a gray from 2019. So this is a 19B collection and it was like, in my opinion, the best gray that has ever been released. This one is with silver hardware. So far, this is the only classic flop that I have with silver. Perfect. It's in Lambskin. I, I'm gonna keep telling you, it's not as bad as it looks. I absolutely love, 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 love this bag because it doesn't really have like that blue undertone. I would say that it's very like a true gray. Plus it's Lambskin and I like the silver complements it so well. I use it quite a lot, especially lately in the medium. We're almost on with the classic flops, I promise. Now, this is my jumbo. I got this one like a while back. This one is in caviar with silver hardware. I think it's quite different from the medium. I feel like later on in life, I'm gonna need something bigger and I only have like quite small bags. Plus this one was from a specific season that the caviar was actually very shiny and beautiful, which is quite rare. It is in perfect condition. I think the bag is from 2007. So it has its years. And in my opinion, it looks almost brand new. I gravitate towards this one a little bit more around the winter to wear it as double strap with coats and stuff like that. I still feel like the jumbo is very relevant. I don't like when people say like, oh, it's past, we're only into the medium and the small. I think that if you want to get a classic flap, the jumbo has quite of a low resale value. If you want to go secondhand, this is one of the best options out there. The last Chanel bag, I promise. This is my only tote. I had been meaning to get the Deville for quite a while. The thing is that I wanted to get this specific one with the beige stripes. I think it's the largest one available and I use it for my computer for traveling to go anywhere. This, like, it's a very used bag of mine. I absolutely love it and I find it to be very, very durable. I do recommend you to get an organizer for it if you plan to get it. It has handles and it also has a very comfortable strap. So in my opinion, it's one of the most comfortable totes out there. The next one is Dior and this is the saddlebag in the mini size. It's not the micro one, so it does fit like a decent amount of stuff. I got this one from Sack Lab for my birthday. I think it's a very unique bag because it does have the rhinestones. It shines a lot and it has them on the city here and here too. It's not leather, it's satin. I got it from Sack Lab for my birthday. The only con that I can give to this one is that it doesn't fit a lot and it doesn't have a strap. You're probably not going to be able to see absolutely anything inside, but it has the magnetic closure. I only use it as a handle bag, but it's very cute for night outs and it has a pocket in the back. I told you that I have a thing for white bags. So this is my Lady Dior in the mini size in the ultra matte white. So the hardware is also white. The feet of the bag are also white and it has this. I fell in love with the Lady Dior when I got this one. I absolutely love it. I would get my ABC and I would get it in black in other colors. I love the fact that it has a top handle. It has a very good strap and this is the opening of the bag. I think the size is perfect because it does fit pretty much anything that you want. I do have the review of this one versus the bobby bag. I'm gonna show you the bobby bag right now but what I like to do with this one, it's basically even this. So you don't have to open it up much to be able to get your phone. I got it pre up with a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing massive. And I do feel like Dior is one of those that you should probably go on the pre loved market or secondhand so you can save a little bit on them. This is my last Dior bag. This is the one that I've had for the longest time, also white. This is the bobby bag and I got it in the smallest size again. I wouldn't recommend you to get this one in this size. If I were you, I would go a size bigger because the opening of the bag is not the most functional. Like a lot of things don't fit because of this specific shape. It does have the back pocket, which is amazing in my opinion for things like I usually put my card ID or anything that I need to go out or a card holder by itself. And it says 30 Montaigne here on the back. I really like the style of the bag. However, there's so many people that don't like it because of the shape of the buckle, but I honestly find it funny. Now with Louis Vuitton, I used to have more bags. I don't have as many anymore. I only have three. Reason being is I am aware that I have quite a few bags and I don't want to use every single one of them. So there's many that I used to have that were just not being used enough for me to justify keeping them. So now I only have three. So this is my Palm Springs Mini. This was the first bag that I ever loved, like the first designer bag that I liked. I saw it on Pinterest one time and I was head over heels in love with it. I tried so hard to get it back then. It was like 2016, 17 and it was almost impossible to get it. I probably would never let it go. Honestly, I don't know. I know that it's a backpack, but it's what started this madness. So I don't feel like I could let it go. I got the luggage tag for it and I do use it often. I feel like it's such a good bag. I love the little handle and the straps. I actually do use it as a backpack and I was able to like make a little hack to shorten the straps. I know that this bag was way more popular back then. Nobody really carries it right now. I do. I find it very comfortable and every time that we go like something like walking a lot, maybe even traveling, it's so practical and it fits a very good amount. It gives me this nostalgic feeling of when I started to watch like videos about handbags and like the reviews and what fits. It fits a small water bottle. It fits your 
sunglasses. It holds like such a cute feeling for me that I just can not seem to let it go and I keep reaching for it. My Speedy B25 in Damien Hermen. The strap is inside. This bag is such a classic. I love Damien Hermen. I think it's the best print that Louis Vuitton has. It's super hard wearing. It's such a great bag. It has a very good strap. It's a shoulder and crossbody strap and it has the top handle. Fits a lot. It's a, a squishy bag. So it's a classic bag. I think that you can never go wrong with it. When it comes to the Speedy and the Neverfull, I always say like they're popular for a reason. So if you want them and if you like them, go for it. And I love the Speedy. The only thing that I would say that it's a comfort this one is the tarnishing of the hardware. This one I would say that it's more Polo's than mine. Polo is my fiance. He loves to use it when traveling. I decided to get it in the Makassar because it's more durable. It rains sometimes when you're traveling. It's very unpredictable. So I want to have something that would not get water stains. This was definitely it and it fits a lot. Also in my opinion, a staple from the brand. This one is in the 45 size. So it's the smallest one, but you have like the 50, 55 if you want something bigger. I think the maximum that they accept carry on on a plane is 50 though. This is my last Louis Vuitton bag and this is the Boat Chapeau necklace. It's like the stupid addition that I have in my collection. It doesn't fit anything. It doesn't even fit a credit card. It fits a prox three, four chicken nuggets. So we called it the chicken nugget bag. I find it super cute. I would definitely get it in more sizes. This one is in reverse monogram. I use it more as a catch-all inside my bag. So I put inside my AirPods, hair ties, sometimes peels if I need to, but it's definitely not a bag properly. Now let's go into Hermes. I know that this is probably the part that everyone was waiting for. Um, I think I'm gonna go from the newest to the oldest one that I added to my collection. So the first one is definitely going to be my mini Kelly. I am head over heels in love with this bag. I love how functional it is. Mine is in Epsom leather palladium hardware in the color clay. I got it back in December of 2022. So basically like six months ago. The bag is absolutely everything that I wished for. So actually for me, it was quite of um, not knowing if it was going to work out because I never really saw one at the stores before, like never touched one before, never saw one before. Basically, I only saw it on other people, but I had never had the chance to try it or see what fits or absolutely anything. So I basically based my decision that it was gonna be a very good addition for me based on YouTube videos that other people made. And I knew that it was probably gonna be really good because I love small bags, if you cannot already tell. I am 5'1", so I'm really, really short and the crossbody strap is perfect for me. I walk a lot on the street and I like it to be like small so you can put it like inside your coat or inside your blazer or whatever. Also for the summer, it's going to be such a great bag. And this was my favorite shade of white from Hermes. The fact that it was palladium, it was completely a plus. I feel like it looks like sort of vanilla. I cannot tell you if it's really worth it the hassle to go through the entire process but if you're able to get your hands on it and it's not a stressful situation I would definitely try to. For me it works very well but if you're someone that needs to take a little bit more stuff with you then I would say pass on it and go to the 25 sizes. It does fit my phone no problem. So far like I can tell you right now this and the Pearl Mini are my favorite ones in my collection but it's because they're the newest ones. So I tend to have like this honeymoon phase with my bags and I absolutely love them for a while and I do not drop them. I do the same thing with songs. If I find a new song, I will listen to it until I get tired of it. Do not feel like I'm gonna get tired of this one, but absolutely love this little bag. Works out perfectly for me. I don't think that I'm gonna try to get more. With this one, I'm completely fine. I mean, if it comes, I welcome with open arms. It's crazy for me to own this bag because I honestly never thought that it was going to happen. Absolutely love it. Next one was quite of a shock for me because I'm not that much of a colorful person and this is like the brightest color that I own. So this is my Birkin 30. I got this one from Season to Consign also around my birthday back in November. This bag is in Epsom Blue Celeste and it's from the Candy Collection. So the Candy Collection is basically one color on the outside and another color on the inside and then they did them in pink, orange, yellows and it's Blue Celeste on the outside which is this blue sky stunning color also with palladium hardware. I was just using this bag. I use it a lot but you can see on the inside it has blue sun saver so it's kind of limited edition it's definitely not new you can see the relaxation on the epsom leather right here and i do appreciate the fact that this one is already quite worn because i tend to baby my bags a lot especially like something light colored like this one and since this bag has been owned for years and years by someone else i feel so comfortable wearing it i absolutely fell in love with this color especially right now for spring and summer i've been using it so much and the size 30 fits absolutely anything that you may need i'm still very 
much in love and wanting the 35 but in my opinion this is great again this one is an epsom so for me it was quite different than my other ones that are integral leather but i think the color is so unique and that it fits my wardrobe very very well the next two are wallets that i like to double them as handbags i feel like they're very very versatile so this is the kelly to go which is like a wallet on chain and i have it in the blue room this is my favorite shade of blue that Hermes offers so i have it in epsom blue room gold hardware i also have the constance slim that i also use as a handbag i did decided to add this strap from etsy this is not from the store directly but both of these i got them from sack lab and this one i love using it as a bag it's so easy to just take it everywhere and fits your cards and everything but it's a wallet not really a bag but i find it to be very versatile the next one is my vintage kelly that definitely needs to go to the spa so this one you're gonna see shines a lot this one is in box leather and it's considered vintage this is from 1995 so almost my birth year too i got this one in 2021 and it's box leather i think it's my favorite leather this and swift are so beautiful i know that they're more delicate but honestly like this bag is 27 years old and it looks like this it's in black in the 28 size and i love it so much it's so practical i mean it's a very very classic black bag i do appreciate a lot with this one the craftsmanship of the brand the leather is so rich and shiny this is possibly one of my favorite bags this one i use it a lot this next one it's my baby birkin and this is a birkin 25 in gold togo with gold hardware the color is brown but in hermes it's called gold it has the four feet on the bottom this one i got it directly from boutique in 2021 too i have said a few times before that i prefer the birkin than the kelly it's really hard to explain but the love and admiration i always had for this bag and overall the style like the look that it has open for me with the gold i absolutely love the contrast stitching i really like togo leather and when it comes to the 25 i always find it very comfortable when you're sitting on a restaurant or whatever you're doing that you can have it right here on your lap and it's not like that intruding i use this like my 225s i use them the most i find it very comfortable they fit everything that i need i absolutely love the 30 but i do feel like the 25 is what looks the best on my frame and this bag was like you know the type of bags that you have on your wishes that you're like no never in a million years i'm going to own my two burgers 25 and my mini kelly were that for me this one i'm gonna take it to the grave with me for sure i adore this bag this was the second bag that i got from boutique and possibly the most interesting color that you're gonna see so this is i don't know what the camera is gonna show but this is back to gray and it's basically like this military green with gray so i find it to be very neutral and very unique i usually have it with a twilly i have it right here so this twilly makes it look a little bit softer this was my first kelly and i really like the color it's with gold hardware in epsom leather like these bags are so well made and so durable i hope that i can show you the true color that it has but my constant slim is also like the same shade it is definitely not the reason why i got it or maybe yeah because it matches and i feel like i've talked for hours but this is my first child like i had so much anxiety the day that i bought this one but here it is and i appreciate it so so much would never ever ever let it go like not in a million years this is also 25 in black with gold hardware in togo leather and i don't want to rumble much about it i just absolutely love this bag something that i can tell you is that togo is heavier than epsom but i actually like it a little bit more this is my last hermes bag and this is the picotin and i have it in nata so you can see that nata is way warmer than Cré. so here they are next to each other this is more like grayish and this is more like a creamy shade this is in the 18 size palladium and clemens leather clemens leather it's a little bit like softer so it's more like squishy that's how i would describe it so i love that about the picotin and it does have feet up on the bottom many people are gonna tell you that they're like the starters to when you're going into the brand but i do feel like they're amazing amazing bags you can feel like the brand and how soft the leather is it's honestly such an amazing bag last but not least i have a few pollen bags and also from a matelaniel that i'm gonna try to show you as fast as i can in case this video already went quite long this is my favorite one it's the number enough in wheat but it's actually like this yellowish color it's like a dumpling i have it in this size and i have the micro version which is right here in green this is a super mini one and this is like the baby size this is probably my most used so far so the last time that i went to paris polena gifted me this once i fell in love with the burgundy one this is my only red bag and then later they sent this one i really really like these bags and the quality is so so good this one still has the stickers on but the red one i've used a few times now and i absolutely love it i think this one i'm gonna start reaching out for it a little bit more now during the summer but this is the inside of the bag this is the one that i've used quite a lot i really like the leather that it has it's like i would compare it a little bit to box obviously it's not the same 
same and it's not the same price point but it has like the cute top handle and this is how it looks on the inside it's such a great bag as a crossbody but the leather does scratch a little bit easier this is my other micro one they don't fit much like they're fun little bags to have but they don't fit much these are my last two pollen bags this one is the berry i really really like it i use it a lot i got this one because i really like the jody from bottega veneta but i didn't know if the shape was going to work out for me and i ended up falling in love with this one so this like the leather of this one is so nice and it does open up like this and this is the last one. I only use this one as a shoulder bag. I don't really like how it looks crossbody that much. But this one fits so, so much. And I do feel like it's good for traveling because it has the flat surface. So you can put it on the luggage anywhere. I would possibly change the silver hardware for gold. This one is the one that fits the most. These are my last two bags. And these are from Amato Daniele. And it's a brand from Milan. This is in velvet. And this one was inspired by Lady Diana's. It's actually gold plated. They are beautiful bags. I would definitely get the full size ones these are the super mini ones and i'm gonna leave amato daniela's website on the description box down below they come with its chain and everything so this was it i hope that it was not too long i definitely hesitated if i wanted to do this video this year or not i'm switching up my content a little bit and i don't do as many like heavily luxury focused videos i am doing more vlogs and things of my day-to-day -day life but i ask and everyone really wanted to see this and it's like something that i do every single year but i do want to stay that I am aware that there's way more important things in the world. This is just for fun. I really like handbags. It's just my thing. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two right here. I hope that you have a beautiful day and see you on the next one. Bye.